and russia is bulldozing ukraine of course right uh the way only russia does slow mo slow mo and by the way um one thing regarding russia and ukraine right russia calls what they're doing special military operation right what they're doing in kursk was uh counterterrorism which it was right or counter invasion what they call the counterterrorism right but in ukraine they've been calling it a special military operation ukraine has been calling it war nato has been calling it war europe has been calling it war united states canada australia have been calling it war right but according to russia it's a special military operation now think about this which one do you think it is right which one do you think it is scott ritter pointed this out and other people have pointed this out as far as i'm concerned i would say nato western world or ukraine calls it a war because they are conducting themselves as if it's a war they're bombing anything and everything right russia calls it a special military operation because according to russia it is a special military operation because they're not bombing everything you can still use the rail system in ukraine if this was a war that nato was conducting there wouldn't have been any rail roads airports anything of this kind left standing within two weeks right we're over two years into this war according to the west or the special military operation according to russia and you can still take a rail train to kiev right if this was a war that russia was conducting people need to really wrap their heads around it we don't want russia to go to war because if they go to war they're going to wipe it just whoop done within two weeks ukraine would you couldn't move in ukraine if russia went to war and if any western nations intervene in that they would raise that area as well inside whatever nato country got involved or whatever NATO base any planes flew out of, or any NATO locations outside of Ukraine where rockets were fired inside Russia, because Russia has eyes all over the place, right? They have a lot of satellites. They have amazing tech, right? So as a Westerner, someone who lives in Canada, I don't want to see Russia go to war. I am grateful that they only categorize this thing as a special military operation, because it said we're gonna fight you but we're gonna put one arm behind our back don't make us bring out the other arm that's what russia has been telling us in the west for multiple years multiple years even before this war kicked off in 2022 february 2022 right so i think we should all be thankful uh for what uh, the way russia has refrained restrained themselves and i think we should also be thankful to hezbollah iran yemen and definitely the palestinians for refrain restraining themselves in and not escalating this to a level where they're wiping out israel okay because we don't want to go to nuclear we don't want to go to nuclear